bags have commonly been used to monitor volatile compounds from sources that are high in concentration so that the contaminated bag can be thrown out after a single use. While a disposable sample container is needed, a solution that would allow automated analysis, improved recovery, and longer holding time is also needed. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to implement this approach using a 21 position auto sampler and glass disposable containers. First, let's look at the bottle. This deactivated glass bottle is one-third the price of a Tedlar bag, and yet it is non-porous and much more inert. Holding times in a bottle exceed 30 days, and a much wider range of compounds can be recovered, including hydrogen sulfide. Glass is non-absorptive, GC-grade material, and a bottle is unique as it can be operated at elevated pressure and vacuum, or even be heated to recover larger molecules, including diesel compounds. Surrogate spiking and dilutions are practical with a bottle, as there are easy ways to introduce gas mixtures with adaptive fittings designed specifically for gas phase volatiles using bottles. To take advantage of the benefits of disposable glass for volatile sample handling, a standard MicroQT valve was designed with a simple o-ring that forms a seal around the mouth of an industry standard glass bottle. The trade name bottle vac by Entech is used routinely around the world even for ambient low level analysis of volatiles since a bottle vat can be cleaned and reused using standard method sampler cleaning systems. All MicroQT adapters allow interface of sampling equipment to a standard metal fitting. Now, let's transfer an air sample from a Tedlar bag to a glass bottle. While Tedlar bags are often heated in an oven, to increase the recovery of heavier species, the bottle will not need to be heated as glass is not absorptive to those heavier molecules. Using this adapter, we can make a gas-tight, low-volume interface with the stem of a Tedlar bag using a hand-tight compression connection. Pulling back the sleeve of the female adapter, we make the interface with the MicroQT valve and the sample transfer begins. Since the valve is leak-tight and forms a leak-tight seal against the bottle, this clean, pre-evacuated bottle can extract the sample from the Tedlar bag simply by making the quick connect interface. Now the sample will be preserved to eliminate the need to run the sample within the next 48 hours. Bottles should have less volume than the gas sample so that the final pressure in the bottle will always be ambient pressure. The bottle can be shipped by air since the pressure differential at high altitudes will not affect it or the sample. This auto sampler is an accessory to any GC. It analyzes up to 21 samples unattended. Internal to a loop injection auto sampler is a sample select system and a loop valve. At the time the sample is selected, there must be a force that transfers the sample from the bottle back to the loop. So, prior to loading the sample on the auto sampler, attach the bottle to a micro QT fitting with a regulated source of diluent gas or the automated sample pressurization system built into the auto sampler and press the pressurization button. A built-in pressure transducer checks the starting pressure and performs a calculation followed by pressurization to achieve a one and a half times, two times, or three times dilution through a restrictor using a diluent gas. Now that all the samples are loaded, create a sequence table for each sample using the software and specify a split or no split ratio for each individual sample. Press go and walk away. At the back of the auto sampler, a remote cable interface to the back of the GC reads ready and not ready signals and sends start signals with every sample injection. If you have any unanswered questions about the video you just watched, visit our website or call us at 800-555-8034 and ask to speak to the solutions manager for your location.